Hey guys, this is Jamie Kraftenstein from Home Sweet Haunt, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a fairy tale poison apple. Let's get to it. Here's what you'll need. So the first thing I did is I wanted to create a guideline for my face using a dry erase marker, which is nice because you can wipe away any mistakes that you make. So after letting the face dry for about an hour, I mixed up some watery puffy paint um, so that this would flow nicely. And after that, it's just a whole lot of painting. Uh, the trick here is just to make sure that the paint has enough liquid in it that uh, it really blends nicely between you know old and new brush strokes. And it should be just wet enough that if you glob on too much, it drips down the sides, but not so much that that's happening a ton. Here you can see I am making those drips happen on purpose by kind of adding more and more and more until droplets form and roll down. And I just did that where I wanted it. And in a couple places I used the toothpick to really draw specific uh, things. So the trick is really to not press the brush or the stick too deep. You want to not have it go all the way to the surface of the apple. You sort of want to be floating so that it's just liquid getting sucked onto liquid. And that's how I was able to achieve that sort of seamless uh, coating. It's kind of like frosting a cake that way. And now wait 24 hours. And here's the final product. Delicious. Actually, don't try eating this one. Um, let me know if you guys uh, try the craft out or if you have any suggestions for other Halloween crafts you'd like to see me make. Uh, subscribe, follow, question, whatever. And looking forward to Halloween many days from now.